Good morning, Madison Park. Hope all is well with all students and staff. Got some announcements today, but recording live today from the Hospitality Management Program here at Madison Park. And I was remiss in saying on Thursday, we're live from the Carpentry Program here at Madison Park. Let's get right into the announcements. The answer to last week's trivia question, how many presidents were born in Massachusetts and where were they born? The answer is four. And we have John Adams and John Quincy Adams who were born in Braintree, which is now part of Quin which is Quincy now with the exact location where they're born. We had John F. Kennedy who was born in Brookline and George H.W. Bush who was born in Milton. So those are the answers. And our winners last week were Anthony Suggs and Erica Smith. Congratulations and well done. Seniors, it has come to our attention that you are forsaking some of your vocational work. We know that the priority is academics for now, straight through to April 30th. Why? Because we want you to complete all your academic requirements first. Get those out of the way so from April 30th for the to the remainder of the year, we have a laser focus on completion of vocational requirements. So again, we understand that the priority is academics, but we should not have students, senior students saying, I don't have to do work. Yes, you do. It's just we want the focus on academics so we can have completion of all academic requirements for graduation done by April 30th. Then we can have a complete 100% focus on fulfilling all the vocational requirements. If you have any questions regarding that, please, please, please contact Ms. Dickens, Dr. Weeks, Mr. Brackenbury, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Harold, or myself if there are any questions with that. For our current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you have to do course selections. I think we mentioned that last week. There's an email from Ms. Foster, our register, indicating all the steps necessary for you to make course selections for the next school year. Please do so this week. It is important for scheduling. And today's trivia question, what U.S. city had the first subway system? Once again, what U.S. city had the nation's first subway system? I will take the first five email responses today. And today's quote of the day, all we need is hope, and for that, we need each other. Madison Park, have a wonderful day.